What's up, y'all? It is I, the great one himself. Cynical Libertarian Society, C-Y-N-L-I-B-S-O-C.com on the interwebs. Gonna drop some CLSology on you, and I can do that. You know why I can do that? It's because I'm always right. It's because I've always been right. I will always be right. I'm right right now. I had a fairly long, shitty day. I mean, actually, I mean, it wasn't that shitty. Worked a worked a gig. Anytime you're doing a theater gig, life can't be too shitty. But there were some there were some challenges, is what we call those in the industry. <laughs> Namely, dealing with people who change shit all the time and don't actually know what the fuck they're doing. But it's fine. So anyhow, the point is, I'm a little tired. I'm a little cranky. I'm also really cranky because of girls. I have an upcoming series of Stating the Obvious episodes. I don't know how many it will be. We're going to talk about, for those of you who have been like, my God, he's gone more than two episodes without bitching about women. Well, let me tell you what. If you want to listen to me bitch about women, you just fucking keep your panties on. Because I've got some episodes coming. Oh, God damn it. I am going to bitch about women. I'm going to bitch about Four women in four days. Four women. I went through four women in four days. We're going to talk about them. We're going to talk about how three of them are just fucking lying cunts. And only one of them has any integrity whatsoever. She was also, out of all of them, the hottest one. I was really proud. I really... I really what's this? So, email. I should turn the email off. I never do. This chick was probably... One of the 10 hottest women I've ever actually talked to in my life in an attempt to have sex with her. Damn. Her fucking, her ass was unbelievable. Anyway, and I even met her in a laundromat. So I've always said you should never pick up women in the laundromat because any woman who doesn't have her own washer and dryer isn't going to be able to take care of you the way a woman is supposed to. But I was going to make an exception in this case. That's how fucking hot she was is that I was going to pick her up in the laundromat. So anyhow, we're going to talk about that. We're going to talk about a Stefan Molyneux video where he has on there as a guest some chick who's trying to find a man on OkCupid, and they're reading OkCupid profiles and dissecting them. And I have never heard Stefan Molyneux be so wrong so many times. Like, basically, almost everything that comes out of his mouth in this video is bullshit. And we're also going to talk about, and I haven't seen the whole thing yet, I watched Stefan's response to it, but apparently Emma Watson gave a speech at the UN about how unless men, of course, you know, unless men change, then women will always be oppressed because, of course, women can't do a fucking thing for themselves unless men do it for them. And then women don't understand why people like me tell them to shut the fuck up and go make a pie. They don't understand why I say women should make less money than men. Even though women, you know, sit there and say, well, we can't, we can't improve the world until men change. Well, if you can't fucking do anything until men do it for you, that's why you're not equal, you stupid fucking cunt. Shut up. So anyhow, I'm going to find the Emma Watson speech and check it out. And depending how ridiculous it is and how long it is, I may do an extended response to that or I may just do a short response, which essentially is what I just said because the clips that Stefan showed of Emma in his video, basically it was just her saying that women are helpless and men need to change the world in order to make women happy. And it's like, no, you need to get off your own fucking bitch ass and if you want to be happy, fucking do something about it yourself and stop your fucking whining. And Aaron Clary also did a fantastic video exactly about this, about the whining about your ADHD and the whining about being a fucking woman and all this other whining and how you're going to go through life whining instead of going through life enjoy. So I'm going to link to that. Talk about that. It's fucking brilliant. So none of that has anything to do with the CLSology that I'm going to drop on your ass right now because because I'm on my second beer and it's almost gone. Damn it. I'm tempted to open up a third one, but I really shouldn't. What we're going to talk about today is, here in the Soviet Socialist State of Colorado, we have an election coming up. 
and I got my little book in the mail that tells me about what's on the ballot. And there's the usual voting for judges and shit that I don't give a fuck about. However, here in the Soviet socialist state of Colorado, we have four, no, well, we have two amendments and two propositions on the ballot. We have Amendment 67, which is the definition of person and child. We have Amendment 68, which is horse, 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 I can't talk, horse, horse, horseshack, I'm horseshack, I'm Donald Horseshack. The horse track, horse race track, I really can't talk. It's the beer, I'm telling you. And the women, god damn it, you fucking whores. It's like, oh yeah, I, I, I'll go out with you, and they fucking flake out. It's like, why don't you fuck, you know, and you, you women, why don't we get paid as much money? Well, you shouldn't get paid as much money as men, because you have no fucking integrity. Because you lie. Because you sit in here and you say, oh yeah, we'll go out. Okay, and then you're lying when you say that, and then you have to come up with an excuse for why you're not going to fucking follow through and go out with me. And that's a lie also. And you go, you're just bitter. No, I'm not bitter. I'm, I'm a man. I, I can handle rejection. This is going to be the point I'm going to make when I do this fucking episode. Is the one woman who just said, no, I, res I can respect that. She didn't lie to me. She just said she, you know, she's clearly communicated. She wasn't interested. And life went on. She had fucking integrity. The other fucking stupid cunts are like, oh yeah, we'll totally go out. Yeah, here my phone, blah, blah, blah. But shit, actually, it's five. I completely forgot about the other bitch. There's five total, four of them who all said, oh yeah, let's get together. Here's my phone number. Let's go, blah, blah, blah. And then they're lying the whole time they're saying this. And then they have to lie again. <clears throat> Excuse me. Then they have to lie again to come up with an excuse not to follow through on the lie they said when they said, yes, we will get together. We'll go out. We'll do some shit. Right, as opposed to the one woman out of five. See, it was twenty-five percent. It was now. It's now. It's only twenty percent. One woman out of five. One out of five had the fucking integrity to just say no. And you fucking whores out there, you fucking stupid fucking cunts, you don't understand why I'm telling you to shut the fuck up and go make me a pie. It's because you don't have any integrity. You're just lying, fucking, bitching, fucking. Whores. Although, well, yeah, you can be a whore without fucking me. I mean, they're fucking somebody. Somebody's fucking them, right? It's like Matt Forney said, every woman has a hole inside of her, and unless there's either a dick or a baby in that hole, she is incomplete. That's a, And it's kind of harsh the way he puts it, but it's also really fucking true. Every woman out there has got a hole right inside of her. And if there ain't a dick or a baby in it, she's unhappy. Anyway, none of that has to do anything. None of that has to do anything. Oh, gosh. Yes, drunk casting. I'm not drunk. I'm, I'm just tired and buzzed. All right, here we go. Amendment 68, horse racetrack casino gambling. Then we have Proposition 104, which is school board meeting requirements. Then we have Proposition 105, which is the labeling of genetically modified food. <sighs> all, almost all food is genetically modified, but you can't explain this to a hippie because they're fucking stupid. So essentially, uh, this episode is staying. The obvious will be me making my official prediction about which of these will pass and which will fail, and then generally making fun of them and discussing statism. So let's start with Amendment 64. It proposes amending the Colorado Constitution to specify that the terms person and child in the Colorado Criminal Code and the state wrongful death statutes include unborn human beings. So this is being pushed by the anti-abortion people. Again, and Aaron Cleary actually talked about this recently in a video I watched too. Where he, he, he and I have the same opinion on this. Abortion is a good thing, but it's a dark thing. You know, Aaron said, yeah, abortion is murder, which I've said before too. When you abort a fetus, you are killing a living organism. That's a fact. People, well, now it's an unviable tissue mass. No, it's a living organism. I mean, it's going to become a human eventually. But just like Aaron, I'm in favor of abortion because... If the parents don't want the child, then the child's going to grow up to be 
miserable. It's going to it's going to be unhappy. It's going to grow up trying to be a criminal or worse, a liberal Democrat, maybe a politician, perhaps a lawyer, perhaps a feminist. Right? I mean, it might be homosexual. I'm still waiting for the day when they find the homosexual gene and the first woman gets an abortion because her baby might be homosexual. I, st- I still, I'm waiting for this. I can't wait for the day when the homosexuals suddenly become anti-abortion because people start aborting children because they might be gay. I, I eagerly await this moment to watch the cultural tsunami that will arise from this. And as I've said, I'm in favor of abortion because most people who get abortions are statist and anything that kills off a potential statist, I'm completely in favor of. Because, of course, statist parents are going to raise statist children. So I'm all for abortions. Yes, you are killing something that is a living organism. You're killing something that is going to become a human being at some point. But I don't really care because 99% of them will be statist. In fact, Again, because the kind of person that would get an abortion, the kind of person who's too stupid to use birth control, I mean, these people, by definition, intelligent anarcho-capitalists who know how to use birth control are less likely to get an abortion than statists. So it's not just 99% of aborted fetuses are destined to be statist. It's 99.999% of aborted fetuses are people who are destined to be statist. And I am 100% in favor of killing as many statists in the womb as possible. I'm also in favor of killing statists after they're not in the womb. But that's another topic. So anyhow, Amendment 64 wants to create a constitutional provision stating that the terms person and child in the Colorado Criminal Code and the state wrongful death says it must include unborn human beings. The measure does not define the term unborn human beings. Which, of course, is part of the If you're going to say that person and child must include unborn human being, I guess you have to define unborn human being, but who really gives a fuck? Here's the interesting part. Arguments 4. One of the government's responsibilities is to protect its citizens from harm. (sighs) The government cannot protect you from harm. The only person who can protect you from harm is you. And if you need the government to protect you from harm, then your DNA needs to be removed from the gene pool. Amendment 67 protects pregnant women and unborn children by making it illegal to kill or otherwise harm an unborn human being and holds perpetrators both criminally and civilly, civically, civilly, civilly. Good thing I'm a professional. Amendment 67. See, this is going to protect women because if we say that under the law... If we say that the term person and child includes unborn human beings, see, that's going to magically protect women. See, that's going to put this force field around women that will protect them. And notice this is all about women. We have to protect women. You fuck men. We don't give a shit about men. But we're going we're gonna to change this thing in the Constitution here in Colorado to protect women. Because, oh my God, women need so much fucking protection. They're just so fucking helpless. And of course, they're also equal to men. They're not just equal, they're superior. Because if only women ran the world, then everything would be wonderful. Right? Everything bad in the world is because of men. If only women were... So that's why women need this extra protection. It's like a maxi pad. It's like a super absorbent maxi pad. So Amendment 67 protects pregnant women and unborn children by making it illegal to kill or otherwise harm an unborn human being and holds perpetrators both criminally and civilly liable. Crimes against unborn human beings should be subject to the same legal penalties as crimes against human beings. All right, here's, so here's a question. Putting aside this, this fictitious force field that this law will put put around pregnant women and unborn children protects them. Alright. 
if the mother smokes a cigarette, that means the baby smokes a cigarette too. So if the fetus, the unborn human, the unviable tissue mass, whatever you want to fucking call it, when the mother smokes a cigarette, the unviable tissue mass is getting some cigarette also. So that means that the... And remember, it's going to be a person now if this passes. If this passes, this is now a person. That means a person under the age of 18 is smoking cigarettes, which is illegal. Will the fetus go to jail? The second argument for this is that by including unborn human beings in the definition of person, the measure may establish the legal foundation to protect the unborn by ending the practice of abortion in Colorado. Which, of course, is the ultimate goal. That's the people who are doing this, per pushing this amendment, are the anti-abortion people. And again, as I've said, no, we need more abortions, not fewer abortions. And especially single mothers, as I've said before, if you any woman who gets pregnant who's not married, in my opinion, should be forced to get an abortion because single mothers are, of course, the absolute worst destroyers of children and destroyers of our society that exist. So that's the main reason why I'm opposed to this. And if if I vote, I haven't decided yet if I'm going to... Well, it's a mail-in ballot. It's not that big a deal. And again, to cover voting, yes, voting for people is always violence. I, I'm okay with voting against things like, you know, there's, a, there's an amendment, ballot, measure, whatever the fuck they're called. Who cares? You can vote to raise taxes or not raise taxes, right? I'm okay with voting against raising taxes. I'm okay with voting against particular laws like this, voting for particular people, even if you say, I'm voting for this guy to vote against that guy. No, you're still voting for a person. That is definitely evil. Now, here we go. Arguments against this amendment. Amendment 67 is unnecessary and unclear. Okay. Unlike... I mean, here in the United States, local, county, state federal laws, all the regulations, uh, American Disabilities Act, the EPA, just, I mean, whatever, just think, think about all the regulations. How many of those regulations and laws are unnecessary and unclear? If we're going to vote against something because it is unnecessary and unclear, that would include virtually every fucking law in existence. The Patriot Act, which is loved and supported by Hussein Obama, the first affirmative action president, and the second coming of Jesus Christ, unless you're a Jew, in which case Obama is the first coming of the Messiah, because Jesus was not really the Messiah. He loves the Patriot Act. It's completely unnecessary and completely unclear. So if we're voting, if we're not, if we're not going to have laws that are unnecessary and unclear, that would be most of them. The next part of this about reasons against it: there are already laws in place to protect pregnant women endangered by the criminal acts of others, while respecting the personal medical decisions of a woman and her health care provider. We'll get to that in a minute. The term unborn human being has no established legal or medical definition in Colorado law and could apply at the earliest stages of pregnancy. The measure could have far-reaching consequences, including making a pregnant woman a health care provider criminally and civilly liable for a pregnancy that does not resolve in a live birth, blah, 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 blah. All right, here we go. Amendment 67. By the way, I'm... This is all coming out. I've, this is the first time I've read any of this shit. So if it sounds like I'm making this up as I'm going along, it's because I am. Amendment 67 allows government intrusion into the personal health care decisions of individuals and families and makes no exceptions for the privacy of the doctor-patient relationship. Now you see, we should vote against Amendment 67 because... It allows government intrusion 
into the personal health care decisions of individuals and families. You see, we should oppose this because it allows the government to intrude into health care. Because see, Obamacare does not intrude into health care. No. You see, with Obamacare, there's no connection between the government and your health care whatsoever. But we can't have this amendment because, you see, this would allow the government to intrude into personal health care decisions of individuals and families. That would be terrible. That was also exactly what Obamacare is. But you see, when Obamacare intrudes into the personal health care decisions of individuals and families, that's okay because Obama, he's black. And he talks pretty. And he showers more than once a week. And like Joseph Biden said, he's a clean, articulate, pretty black man. He's the first pretty black man who can talk pretty that the Democrats have ever had in their party. And so it's okay when Obamacare intrudes in your health care decisions because Obama talk pretty. He pretty talker. Pretty talk. Talk, talk, pretty talk, pretty talk, pretty talk. But we can't have this amendment because no, this might intrude in your health care decisions. Fucking please. I guess it's, like, it's just like it's n none of these arguments are even remotely rational. This is not even remotely intelligent to say we can't have because it's going to intrude in healthcare decisions because the government doesn't intrude in healthcare decisions. I mean the government tells you you have to buy healthcare from some place in the same state as you. I mean, the government regulates healthcare. The government regulates the healthcare industry. The government regulates everything that fucking happens in healthcare. The government has access to all your medical records. It's it's just amazing that this shit can be written on a piece of paper and people all over the fucking Soviet socialist state of Colorado are reading this and some of them are reading that and they're taking this shit serious and it's the liberals the liberals are going yeah we can't have the government interfering in healthcare the same people who fucking sucked Obama's cock and prayed for Obamacare are going to be looking at this thing and they're going to be making the argument yes we can't have the government interfering in healthcare I mean, if you can take this argument seriously, your mother should have gotten a fucking abortion. I'm telling you, man, I am so in favor of abortions. Oh. There, we, we can't have enough abortions in this country. It would be impossible. The only way we could have enough abortions is if we were actually... Well, could then again... I'm okay with that, too. I've said that I believe that abortion should be legal you know, even after the baby is born. Which is hilarious. I remember back in the old days, remember reading about the feminist who said that it should be okay to kill babies after they're born for like the first three months or something like that. And I remember how disgusted I was by that at the time. And now, of course, I would be perfectly okay with abortion being legal for the first 18 years. Certainly, I mean, certainly for the first 18 weeks, for sure. I mean, the difference between you know, a baby that's coming through the birth canal tomorrow and a baby that came through the birth canal yesterday, it, it's nothing. Other than once the baby comes to the birth canal, it gets a social security number and it officially becomes a slave. I'm feeling kind of bitter today. Yeah. I have some, I have some bitterness going on. <laughs> Let's just fucking abort all... I just... I'm serious. I mean it. There there cannot be enough abortions. 
it's because the people who get abortions are the people who should get abortions. They're the people who should have been aborted. This will fail. I mean, it's, it's a no-brainer. It's not going to pass. Amendment 68. So some corporation wants to build some racetracks here in Colorado and make a bunch of money. And of course the casino gambling tax, because of course there's going to be a tax on it. Right, there's always a tax on everything. That's the whole point, is there's going to be a tax on this. There'll be a special tax just for the gambling tax. And the revenue will be, of course, redistributed to, you guessed it, the schools. The K-12 through public schools will get this tax money. Because we can do anything if it's for the children. Amendment 68 proposes to amend the Colorado Constitution. And again, you know, if you need permission from the government to gamble... That might be an indicator that you're a slave. This will am bleh, amend the Colorado Constitution to permit casino gambling at horse racetracks in Arapahoe, Mesa, and Pueblo counties, limited to one racetrack in each county. So it's not going to legalize horse racing or gambling on horse racing, but it's going to legalize casino gambling at horse racing in these three counties. And only one racetrack in each one. I mean, this is the kind of thing that tells you there is a specific corporation. I don't, I don't know what it is, I, and it doesn't matter. I'm telling you, this is common sense. There is one corporation that's pushing this, and that's the corporation that's going to build those three racetracks. This is, and this is when you hear these fucking ignorant cocksuckers out there who say shit like, well, without the government to protect us, the corporations would rule the land. No, the corporations rule the land because of the government. Here's a classic example. This one, I don't know. I, I think this, I think this might pass. But I've seen some negative stuff about it. And also, because it's only in these three counties, I kind I have a feeling this one will not pass. But if it does pass, I won't be surprised. I think it's going to be close either way, though. That's, what, that's all it is. There's some corporation wants to build these horse racing tracks, wants to make all this money, and then the whole turning the tax revenue over for the children for public school, that's just their way of getting the stupid people to vote for it because the stupid people will vote for anything that has to do with the children. I'm not reading the for or against. I don't give a shit. The only one I really cared that much about was the abortion unborn person thingy just because it's so fucking stupid the whole thing about we can't have the government interfering in healthcare. i mean just the fucking stupidity level of that the the fucking stupidity level of say of fucking liberal democrats saying they don't want the government to intrude in health care decisions this is why liberals should be aborted Regardless, if I don't give a fuck if they're 77 years old. Every fucking person who votes Democrat should be aborted. I mean, the Republicans are another problem, but th they can be coped with. They can be fucking intimidated and beat into shape. Right? Liberal statists, left-wing statists, are too fucking stupid to do anything with. They are the fucking scum of the earth. Among statists, they are the lowest fucking form of state. I would sooner deal with a fucking communist than a fucking liberal democrat. I'd sooner deal with a Nazi. I would trust a Nazi before I'd trust a liberal democrat. Gotta trust a woman before I trust a liberal democrat. Because at least at least one out of five women have integrity. Zero out of five liberals have integrity. 
Anyway, propos prop proposition. I'd say that three times. Pop, 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 pop. Proposition 104 proposes amending the Colorado statutes to require that local school boards or their representatives negotiate collective bargaining agreements in open meetings. So currently, the collective bargaining agreements for school boards and their representatives are closed. Why? Because democracy, because we have an open government, right? And of course, what does this mean when it's this, this pseudo word speak shit? Local school boards and their representatives negotiating collective bargaining agreements? We're talking about the teachers unions. This would be an amendment to mean the teachers unions have to be open about their negotiation for their raises even though children are getting stupider than ever. This will fail. This will absolutely fail because the teachers unions are one of the most powerful institutions in the United States. It reminds me of a video I saw on YouTube just recently and I saved this. I might do a rebuttal to this where it was some stupid cunt who was, talk, of course, talking about public education and talking about how in, in so much of our society, how technology has moved things forward, but education has not progressed even though technology is moving forward. And I'm like, well, of course, because teachers' unions. The teachers' unions are not going to allow the education system to change. I mean, they have a cushy job. They're off work at 3.30. They get three months off in the summer. They don't have to do anything. It doesn't fucking matter if the children they teach are stupid as shit or not. There's not going to be any progress in the educational system as long as the educational system is dominated by and run by the teachers' unions. Because public schools are not there to benefit the children. Public schools are there to benefit the children. I mean, God, to benefit the teachers. That's why there's no, that's why progress hasn't come to the public school system. Because the teachers' unions aren't going to allow that. Because they don't benefit from that. So this will utterly fail. There's no way that the teachers' unions are going to negotiate for their fucking undeserved pay raises in the daylight. And then we have Hippie Proposition 105, labeling genetically modified food, because hippies don't understand that virtually everything we eat, both animals and plants, has been genetically modified from its original... its original incarnation in the wild thousands and thousands and thousands of years ago. Proposition 105 proposes amending the Colorado Statutes to require foods that are genetically modified or produced with genetic engineering to include the words produced with genetic engineering on the label or container with certain exceptions because there's always going to be exceptions for special interest groups that have large amounts of money or care about the children. This will also apply existing food mislabeling penalties in state law to a food manufacturer, distributor, or retailer for failing to comply with the labeling requirements. So the retailers could be held responsible under the law if the manufacturers do not label it. That sounds great. This would And notice the exceptions aren't outlined in this summary at least. Maybe they are later would prohibit a person from bringing legal action against a manufacturer, distributor, or retailer for failing to comply with the labeling requirements. So, it would say these are the labeling requirements. And the government may sue a manufacturer, distributor, or retailer for failing to comply. So, if a manufacturer, distributor, or retailer fails to comply, the government may take legal action against them and get money. However, it also prohibits a person from bringing legal action. So an individual may not bring legal action against a manufacturer, distributor, 
or a retailer for not obeying the law and make money from it. Do you see how not only is this controlling what people are having to put on their labels, but it's also setting it up so that the government can sue people who don't do it and make money, but private individuals are expressly prohibited from taking legal action against somebody who breaks this law. It is, this is specifically restricting the freedom of individuals to take legal action against a manufacturer, distributor, or retailer who fails to obey these laws. So you as an individual, if this amendment passes, will have more of your freedom restricted. So keep telling yourself you're not a slave. Because if you just tell yourself you're not a slave enough times, then you won't be a slave. And it will require the Colorado Department of Public Health and Environment to develop regulations and oversee the labeling requirements. It will create more government bureaucracy, which must be funded by the government. Except the government doesn't have any money. Only the people have money, which means... There will need to be more taxes. It's a beautiful, beautiful web we weave. So this will... And then, of course, who... who then there's this attempt in here with all these. I love when politicians try to use science words. There's all these definitions here like distributor means a person or a business engaged in any method of distributing or transporting a food or food product from one place to another. So that means if you're driving your food from the grocery store back to your home. See, this is why you people are stupid. This is why I'm smarter than you. No, you're a distributor. It says, distributor means a person, okay, you're a person, engaged in any method, any method. That's driving your car, riding your bicycle, walking, taking the bus. A person engaged in any method of transporting a food or for food product from one place to another. When you go to the grocery store, you buy food and you drive back home, you are a person, you are engaged in any method of transporting a food from one place to another. Oh, but but that will never really happen. I mean, the government, the government would never actually use that against an individual. That's like saying, I mean, that's like saying the government would make laws that say people have to return runaway slaves to their masters. That would never happen. That's like saying the government of the United States would put Japanese people in concentration camps. That, that's, that would, you're such a conspiracy theorist. That's like saying the government of the United States would fund and conduct research on black people to see what happens when syphilis runs wild in them without treatment. That would never happen. That's like saying the government of the United States would expose soldiers to radiation to see what effect it has. That would, you are such a fucking wacko. I bet you listen to Alex Jones. That's like saying the government of the United States would give American soldiers LSD as part of a testing to see what it would do to them. That's, that is absurd. That is fucking absurd. That's like saying the government of the United States would hunt down and exterminate any Indians who did not willingly go live on the reservations where they were told to live by the government. I mean, the idea that the government would consider a person driving home from the grocery store to be a person engaged in any method of distribution or transportating a food or food product from the place that's just insane. You're such a, I am such a fucking wacko. I swear to God, I am obviously just have no fucking clue what I'm talking about because we know the American government does nothing but care about and protect its citizens, especially now that his lord and savior, Hussein Obama, he is the president. He's the king of the United States and he passed Obamacare. And God damn it, we can't have the government interfering in people's medical decisions, can we?
Then we have the definitions of enzyme. Genetically engineered or genetically modified means food produced from or from or with an organism or organisms with its genes genetically altered through application of in vitro and in vitro nucleic acid techniques, including recumbent diohydroxide acid technique or the direct injection of nucleic acid into cells or organelles. Or I mean, it's just like, I love politicians trying to talk science. None of the people who wrote this have a clue what any of these fucking words even mean. Anyhow, this one, this one, I'm again, it's it really appeals to the hippies. There's a lot of dope smoking in this state. By the way, I watched another video on YouTube. A guy talking about marijuana and the reasons he think this thinks there's going to be an upcoming backlash. Backlash. Fuck, I can't talk. I'm stopping this soon and going to bed because I'm tired backlash against legalized marijuana and as he pointed out most of the marijuana mar right, let me catch my breath <laughs> get a drink of water Ugh. most of the marijuana currently being sold in Colorado is genetically modified. Most of it, very little of it, is like ditch weed that somebody grew in their backyard. Because you're only allowed to have so much and all this other stuff, people are genetically modifying the shit out of their marijuana to get the most bang for the buck. And so you've got all these dope smoking fucking hippies who are terrified of genetically modified food smoking genetically modified dope. Now I'm all you know I understand the concept of science running wild. I'm not about I I, I mean I don't have enthusiasm for genetically modified food specifically. But again, I mean, if you people want to keep making children and you don't want to get abortions like I want you to, and you, you want food and you want more food for your children, the food's got to come from somewhere. And if you're just if you're just not smart and it's like I don't worry about genetically modified food because I don't buy shit in boxes and stuff like that. I mean, I you eat fruit, you eat vegetables. Eat meat. Eat healthy shit. And not, not that none of that stuff can be genetic. But it's just like, again, it, ultimately it comes down to these fucking people don't even want to put any effort into understanding what it is they're stuffing in their face. They want the government to tell them this is genetically modified so it's unsafe. This isn't genetically modified so it is safe. So they can spend their time, you know, watching Orange is the Next Black or whatever the fuck is popular nowadays. I mean, if you people can't take the time out of your lives to pay attention to what you're stuffing in your pie hole without the government to regulate it for you, maybe you should be aborted. So will it pass or will it not pass? That's the question. There's a lot of fucking dope smoking hippies in Colorado. And GMOs are something that they're really whiny about. But then again, the agricultural corporations have a lot of money. Shit. See, I think this one, I think this one could be really close also. But I got I gotta pick a side. I gotta make a prediction. The question is, will I remember my predictions when I'm doing the write-up for this? I'm going to say the GMO is going to fail, because I, I think the corporations have enough pull to make sure it fails. Because they, they don't want to deal with this. I don't think the corporations want this. And that's why I don't think it's going to happen. All right, there it is. That's the four things coming up here in the Soviet Socialist Republic of Soviet Socialist State of Colorado. And I'm tired. My fucking voice hurts and my head hurts and I need to go to sleep.
And, yeah. And I'll be back soon. Bitch about dumbass fucking women. God, I'm glad I remembered number five so I can put that in. That's fantastic. Fucking whores. Fucking women. Get some fucking integrity. Stop whining about this. We really make 75 cents for what a man makes, which isn't true because you can't do math. You can't do geometry, as I learned today, dealing with a fucking woman. It's like, okay, you're trying to put a square object inside of a six-sided object, you stupid fucking whore. It's not going to fucking work the way you think it's going to work. Just shut up and let me do this and go the fuck away. Go make a fucking pie and shut your mouth. Get in the fucking kitchen, get your goddamn abortion, and get the shoes off your feet, you fucking whore. So anyhow, women, just shut the fuck up. You have no integrity. You're a bunch of goddamn lying fucking cunts. And just stop acting like you can do anything for yourselves, because you can't. All you do is you go through life, in order for women to be equal, men have to change. No, shut the fuck up, Emma Watson. Shut your fucking ass up.